Now moving on to the real issue that brought the superstar here into our studio. We are just going straight to it. And uh, Niso just put on his uh, social media timeline, that is Facebook to be specific. And I'm going to read exactly what the gentleman wrote on his timeline and we'll come back to now do the Q and the age that is the questions and the answers here with me so now i'm reading it i know there are a lot of christians out there that have heard when the she's new song and are very uncomfortable with the way her writer bullet played with a christian faith all in the name of creativity and are not saying anything about it i remember a song came out which became a hit but the owners of the song couldn't perform it because they used an islamic chant in the beginning of the song and news had it that some muslims were unhappy and were looking for the boys i'm not expecting christians to get violent or anything but i'm expecting them to without fear or favor stand for the faith as long as christians have nowadays decided not to stand for the faith people will always make a mockery of it Mm. this is sad I know this post won't get shares or likes because you two are afraid to stand for the faith. Shame on us. Hashtag Niso. Hashtag I make music lab. Hashtag 100% crystal music. Okay, so at this juncture, my Twitter guys, let's start the show on Twitter as well. As the discussions and the questions and answers are ongoing, you can also join us. Remember, this show is always live on twitter um as much as we are on air you can also give us something you just mentioned some flex and uh let's move on like that okay niso welcome to the studio thank you thank you so much for your time so i have read this when did you post this I think um three days ago you posted yeah, this three, days, three ago. days ago yeah what was running through your mind at the time you were typing this english <laughs> well um first of all eh, plus i mean i've watched social media of listen to people speak and all of that and it's becoming a trend now where in fact this christmas coming you look i won't be surprised where people would take the birth of christ and make some joke out of it and jesus this and jesus that mm. or, I, I already mm. something is trending online oh, okay. about some uh, birth of uh, jesus christ in tree series <laughs> a comedian <laughs> called sugar has started something like that online it's getting the trends you know uh-huh. so like i'm saying you see um maybe you want to make people laugh small or you want to ease tensions more right now we actually the dollar and the city are fighting like something you know just want people to you know feel some 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 kind of ease and all of that um it's okay you understand all i'm saying is that nonetheless let's place some respect on other people's faith even if you don't belong there you understand the reason why the islamic faith will not ag- agree for you to paint a picture of muhammad is because of how they see him their prophet how they see him and for them this is how it is like in fact an egyptian uh, um, actress is is actually going to jail for five years just for dressing inappropriately you understand that is how wild they can get with their um, rules and regulations with their religion and all of that i'm not expecting us to go haywire with that what i'm just trying to say is that we as christians need to stand up and present our christ jesus as who he really is for people to give him that kind of reverence so that even if they don't believe in us they don't come insulting us you understand so um the same way i can't look at our president um and make certain statements is because of the kind of respect i have for him not just because of the fact that he's older than i am but truly the country has lifted him up to a certain status that i have no choice than to see him in that light so even without even no matter how disrespectful i am as a person um see how wild shatawale can get when he met the president he was like a baby you understand he you you come down because of how he is because of how he's being presented and i believe that christians are not doing enough to present this jesus in that light for people to respect him if if we did people won't sit down and put down certain words and play around our jesus i see now in your post you made reference to um let me read that line you said i remember a song came out which yeah. became a hit but the owners of the song couldn't perform what yeah, song i don't know if you heard the song 
Shake your hood yeah, 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 some yeah. Cove Town boys. It has some la 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 something 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 in the beginning. Uh huh. When it ends, then the song itself starts. Uh huh. And Charlie, we went haywire. I don't know if you've seen the boys perform the songs before. Mm-hmm. Uh, what what happened? Before. What happened? Um, I, I just want to be remembered. They, they were not happy. Uh, the uh, the the Islamic community were not happy that they took um portions of their quran and put it into a song which didn't glorify and that was what la la i mean i can't remember the chant proper i don't understand okay. the Arabic, my, my, so. my dj has it so let's see if we will get that thing in the sticker that that is it in there okay uh-huh. can you do it again sticker do it again do it again do it again uh-huh Wow, this is serious. Mm. And you know, and you know how they are already. So they, they, they were like, Charlie, look, you're not even coming to tell the word about Allah or something. You are talking about the girl's waist. So they, they, they went against them. Yeah, yeah, they were they were wild. In fact, rumors had it that they catch the boys, they go do something, give them. So they, if, if some show the boys are on it and not uh, uh, and stuff, the the boys were afraid to play because they don't know who's going to jump on stage and stuff. Even though they mm. took that part out of the song and um, to be uh, uh, performing it like uh, um they playing it uh-huh. you understand P- they still didn't agree that it's, it's, it's released already that's how i can't okay. even stick a hand um I don't, I don't know if you've done further research to understand the the meaning of the the earlier thing the who that thing do you understand what really it was no it i don't understand the arabic but i know for sure me i i grew up in uh, adabraka me adabraka boy I, I grew up with a lot of so I I know it when uh, this is actually a chant from the Quran. Oh, yes, okay. and, and, you don't and understand also, what it says. Uh-huh, exactly. exactly okay, what it I says. get you. Yeah. I get you. Now let's come back to the substantive issue where you are saying that um, when the Shea and uh, Bullet, you you believe that they've done something wrong. What is their crime? Yeah. Um. You see, bro. First of all, I'm not against creativity. Feel free. Explore create do what you want to do i don't want to uh, make it sound like some people are trying to use religion to stifle people's creativity people are trying to use morality to stifle people's creativity feel free and create mm-hmm. what i'm trying to say is that the reason why um uh, uh i wouldn't um beyonce even if she's being invited in a church she wouldn't wear the kind of attire she wears while she's on tour is because of the reverence she gives the place mm-hmm. you understand so no matter how creative she tries to get she knows that i am in church mm-hmm. so she limits her creativity so that she will not step on toes she will a- allow people to also feel free and worship god in their space mm-hmm. so she doesn't come with her creativity in their space to more or less insult them insult their faith mm-hmm. when you put even though i know that uh, originally the song is uh, i think coach or something like that uh, uh, someone like that there's, uh, there's an artist who originally wrote the song and they took the song and then they also added theirs you know when you are uh, what is their crime what is the their crime, crime is that uh-huh. the crime is that when you're putting words together and you're saying that you are uh, you are preaching that oh massacre massacre and all that and say me cut it as sorry now even though um in the tree language it means that you are going to open a church mm-hmm when you put the words together in the manner in which they did we all know that they're actually not talking about the church that we all know about in fact worst of all they even did a video to it and they gave you the action you understand and um which are, action they gave which action um we are on radio so i can't uh this uh macho blue uh-huh. and three to the top uh-huh. and all that uh-huh. and uh-huh. exactly at the point where they say me cotia sorry mm-hmm. which actually in other words means that my penis is up and they gave that action that my penis is up you understand you can go ahead and say what you want to say say it in your context but don't bring it to my faith and then you come and add some praises to it and start playing some and start singing some praises uh, and start adding all those things and come and tell me that's gospel music that's insulting to my faith that's taking my jesus and turning it all around and then making him look like some sexual object that you talk about you understand mm. so, and, and you expect all christians to stand up against this exactly because we sleep too much as christians oh right time we've seen a lot of people who call themselves men of god prophets who make certain statements and sometimes you hear them and then you go like how like how is this possible nobody talks about it nobody does 
we, we sit down and we allow these things go on it has become each one for himself god for us or nobody won't talk nobody won't talk they say oh if you talk you are judging me you are judging me. no when i caution you i'm not judging you when i say bro where you they go charlie you know, you know fresh you go feel worry you i'm just cautioning you i'm not judging you i don't have the power to do so i see me you are a showbiz person sure. why don't you see this on a lighter note why why don't you take it as if okay oh let's take uh wendy shea and uh, bullets uh creative piece on a lighter note let's laugh over it and move on yeah um when we take this as a lighter note and move on another one can we take it as a lighter note and move on because and then, you, and you, now, you know you know why i want to suggest this sure. what you played from the who that are boys yeah. the uh, rahim mm-hmm. da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. once again our people some of our people too have also sang mm-hmm. and they did la i la 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 our people did not go all mm-hmm. the uh, muslims mm-hmm. did not go after yeah. them so what, why what what that i understand what um nasi said in that song was that salam alaikum means peace be unto you it's a greeting you understand but what those boys used according to research is actually a chant from the quran it's, it's some some holy chant to be you understand and they used it in the song that's why they were and meanwhile they were singing it. hudada yeah and if you watch waste. if you watch the video to the ladies exactly, were just exactly exactly so so it just didn't tally over there you understand but when i say salam alaikum it's just peace on uh, peace be unto you i'm just greeting you you understand so the reason why i don't want us to laugh over it and uh, 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 and then just oh you know be anything there no team uh, you know be anything there right now wrong has become so right that when you do right you look wrong so let us not um compromise on the truth that's what i'm saying let us not compromise so you are disappointed in christians nah yeah charlie we sit down and we watch these things go on for we've watched it go, go on for far too long charlie bro, bro too long Thank you so much. Case well presented. Anyways, Alexander Abaka is the publicist of Rough Town Records. I must say, Niso started church on semi. I must say, I must follow. Now, now, the other radio, you don't want to be in command on two. I saw nine yumino, Obia Mobim, and I a boom pa. Okoba be a year, Bobby, no more more pentacles, no more to Methodist, no more to Presby, no more to because when you are almost ready, you are making fail. Alexander, good morning. Hello. Good morning, boss. Morning, boss. Officer, Bibi Abu Kodi. Yanko Pardon, boss. Hmm. Nana pay when you are cutting Bibi already. I'm cutting the Ogusua. I'm being cutting a shop. Nana pay. What being cutting a shop? Send your man for Benya Bibi. I will show you. Hmm. Nami Shao. Nami Shao. Nami Shao. Um, let me ask for the past ten minutes or maybe less. Many musician need so yeah to drink more about more artists. Eh, yeah, when the she and I be a more chief executive bullet to the ever muka cry or rough town records. Now, I need some more. Okay, you know, I say, I am more artist when the she and I am more writer. Uh, real bullet moody. Yeah, me who fell in the sense that you are who fell. Yeah, me, yeah, me, yes, Christo. Okay. Mo di ne hon feo, e wo mo nyuma, mo matro, e wo bontin ya, ye fre no masakra. Na, tre na men kain, di e wo, o tro Facebook na kasan tre mo na fe, ye en Oh, I saw oh, that be that be, I don't know, ok, chukar. Ah, oh, what kind did that good? Oh, my kind. Oh, my merge man, I simple. Into what kind did that na, ye nyo no, e pese, Christian, o se, a Christo fo yin an sorry, no mo nka senti ya mo. Na, o mo nka se, Adia mu ye no mu gu nyame ho fe o mu gu nyame som animase na eden na publicist of rough town records mo beka e dia tre ni so ni omo a omo so adwen bi sei okay enya boni mo won se e ba ni creativity na f um good morning to your listeners once again e ba ni creativity ya when you're trying to send a message out to certain people la if you know in the world okay when you're trying to send a message to certain people when you take the word directly, okay? When you send the word directly, Okono, straight directly, yeah, there's no way they will be able to accept the message. You get me? And um, accept it and make it so, okay, this is what they are trying to buy. If you put it in a creative form, something that they can vibe along to. I listened to the interview, though. Ah, uh, Okika said they are certain words in there. I don't know which word he's trying to explain, but you know, there is one word you can say na obia find a different different meaning you get me so quite unfortunately he has taken it in that side but i i wouldn't want to like do a back and forth of it we put out a creative piece out there he is having his own opinion so they should do this if he's calling for a revolution to help ban the song 
We have like over 25 million Ghanaians in this country. We have like extra, like almost like 7 billion plus people in this world. We can just leave the song out there for them to be the judge. We have put out a creative piece for the title Massacre with a, with a notion. So it is like trying to let people know. So you need to bring about changes in your life. So if you feel, say, um, to me, you should sign your know, to help somebody change or to bring somebody to the house of. Ah. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, where is Mr. Massive? There is going to be this problem because of MTN to Vodafone. If you can get an MTN number, we can talk for long. Where is Mr. Massive? Where is Mr. Massive? Ah, uh, let's get it going. Let's get it going. Okay. So we're going to call him again. We're going to call him again. And uh, we will get back on the lines to do this. I don't know why it is like that. If you use MTN to call another number, it will be cutting at, at after every minute or so. Why is it like that? Um, is, is what interconnectivity conflict? What is that? <laughs> what kind it of English it, is that? It, is, it means that Mr. Call, call with an MTA number, uh, no, or call with a Vodafone number or something. Because if we do this connection, it is going to cut after every minute. Uh, but that's what I told you. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? What is that? MTA ni Vodafone for a day, Saturday a day. If you have an MTN number and you call someone on a different after every minute, the call will cut. Vodafone to other numbers is not like that. Uh, what kind of? Uh, is it a joke? <laughs> okay. Um. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. We need to talk to us. Ah, yeah. Sure. Say, be a baby. We need to talk to us. Ah, because. I know it will be happening. It will be happening uh, when you are talking to someone like that. All oh, these things will be happening. So we are calling again, and um, Alexander Abeka is the publicist of Rough Town Records. He is still explaining. Let's see if you get to the bottom of this. He thinks that over two, over twenty-five million people can also come into the judgment. Abeka, good morning once again. Yes, yeah, sorry. So as I was saying, uh, we've put the song out there. We've put the song out there for like a couple of days now. Should I say a week or so? And the song has gotten that attraction, okay? That's what I mean. Yes, I'm listening, boss. Uh, I want you. to make a point, okay? Go ahead. So, when the song came out, you realize um, people were saying, say, you could be young, young, blah, 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 and at the end, the end, the end. You heard about that? I yeah, guess. I heard about yeah. that too. Hello? Yes, I heard about that, uh, Alexander. Good. So, the song originally was a KWC song. Like, we took sampling. There was a sampling done from KWC song, you get me? Yeah. Okay. Keuzu released a song a couple of years ago. Because Keuzu was not like, quote unquote, a big star, you get me? No one, like, quote unquote, took their pressure on him because they just, yeah, we are, we have Wendy Shea, the hottest female artist in Ghana right now. Yeah, many attention, many attraction, many support. Because they be an Anubia, yeah. So, like me, honestly, that is what I feel he's trying to do. If he really wants to, like, say, yeah, go on the issue, pe -pe -pe, he would listen to the message and not look at that other side that he's trying to look at. No. But anyways, I think it's best to just leave the judgment to the people. But anyways, you should, thanks for bringing the attention of his opinion. At least, one way or the other, and it will help promote our song well. And it would make our work very easy. So we are much grateful. I we'll see. just leave there. I the see. judgment to the rest of the world for them to do honestly mm. now Abeka, are you also not scared i'm talking about you and the team not scared yeah. that um can you can you hear me yes sir boss uh -huh, i'm asking that are you guys also not scared that if he continues to Hello, preach your, num your line is not clear all right uh is it good now Yes, it's okay now. Uh -huh. So I'm asking that, are you guys also not scared that if he continues to preach this message, there are some people who buy into it? And that, that it is, is likely to affect there are you? some people who buy into it. We released the song. A lot of people have heard it. We are doing a massacre challenge. If the masses didn't want it or the masses have issues with it, my number will be buzzing every day. People sending me videos to be sharing on social media. The people are listening to the song. The people don't have an issue with the song. So, since the time we released the song, he just made a post yesterday. Also, the I, day I, I, I can't, I can't, there is something maybe you guys are missing. He's not saying just any person should have 
an issue with the song. Go. He's saying Christians. So yes, well, people like, people will be listening. He, people will be listening. People will be jamming to the song, but he wants Christians and not just anybody. Okay. Oh, the network is really bad. Hello, I can't hear you all. <sighs> okay, what I'm saying Hello. is that um, can you now hear me? Yeah, the network is really bad. Um, it is not bad at our end. Uh, so check your position. I can hear you very well. Yes. Because uh -huh. I've even come outside. I'm outside. So uh -huh. I don't know how come. He is saying that... Hello? Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Can you hear me now? Uh, hello? <laughs> uh, hello? 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 Can you hear me now, Becca? Can you hear me now? Um, Becca, I feel to me. Yes, sir, boss. I'm here. Uh -huh. There may be something say. Ni so mm -hmm. se ubia and se on kasi ubia and sendi video so ne mum or patches a crystal for omo mujitum so mia crystal for de or so mu sorry etiamo san or patre and te bi besa e bi be challenge you know but also crystal for sorry in tiamo and mom pie in tiamo and it's and same baby so they should into C C I know he's calling for a uh, revolution against the song like a bit me a Christian revol religious revolution. Okay. You are saying so before you see the release and you are born by China and Kopo. So, um, I don't know which say maybe there are two different gods or something. So, maybe at the battle of the gods, the IBGC or not, you are going to put on some of them. Now, if you say you see the IBGC, some of which of them will bring the song down? Okay, and Timodi, yeah, um, and Famu Hosa in short. In short, now seven and five months, I'll be to me. I can't see. Oh, no, I guess I'm fine. Oh, no, 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 I'm not trying to be saying I'm fine. Like, in fact, we brought out a message. We have, have our mindset, okay? And, uh, on also, no, quiet on for. Oh, um, one more thing. Hello, boss. What's on me? Me too, me too, me too. Um, you know, me was in, um, worldly music, quote unquote, before. Yes. Oh, so maybe still worldly, can cry you. Maybe Chinina Jia Kohosai. That's quite unfortunate. He's not trying to see the good side of the song. Why? Jebe and Nintia. Ose Eden. Ose Bibi Chinina Dream. Hello? Ose Eden A Chinina Dream. Manti Honi. What's it like when you're trying to, when you're having a mindset? Oh, I could call you Kaye Didi. Your mindset, okay? It's always from somewhere. And you know, you know, Niso wasn't really a gospel artist, right? Uh huh. Yeah, so once uh, maybe he's still he's still that mindset and you know, still is there. That's how come he's seen it. But we are seeing it as a good song, a creative song, just to like catch the attention. So it's just a creative word that we are using in there. We are not trying to mean anything bad, but hey, maybe you're not in mindset now. I'm gonna I bring you out such opinion. So we're okay. We don't we don't have anything to do about it. We just leave judgment to the rest of the people. All right. Thank you so much, Alex. Hello, um, hello, that's on me. Yes, sir. Yeah, so me bacho me bacho before me bend, so bacho me make sure I'm with somebody you need to be All right, bacho yati, yebe bo, yebe bo. All right, yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it. Anya me that's it. Hey, Alexander Abeka, I see. Okay.